from average to exceptional, 15 habits of highly profitable traders. First, be a constant learner. One thing that all the best and most successful Forex traders have in common is an ongoing curiosity and the love of learning new things. So, if you want to be a successful FX trader, you need constantly learning new things about trading and the market. The Forex market is one of the most dynamic and active markets in the world, so you have to be on top of what's happening and what's affecting it. Markets are constantly changing, so there will be times where you will have to adapt your trading strategy. Second, be proactive. In his best-selling book 7 Habits of Highly Effective People Stephen Covey said being proactive is an important part of one's success. As a trader, being proactive means taking action, doing something or doing the things that will contribute to your success as a trader. Here are a few examples of the proactive things you can do to help your trading. Setting up a daily routine to help you become more efficient with your trading. Set aside time for learning and training, e.g. trading education, learning technical analysis, trading webinars, reviewing chart patterns, testing and refining trading strategies. Third, develop a trading plan. You're probably aware of the saying, failing to plan is planning to fail. Though it might sound cliche, it's true and it's a very important component for trading success. Whether you're a new trader or someone who has been trading the markets for years, you need a trading plan that should be your guide in everything you do. A trading plan doesn't need to be complicated. It can include some basic guidelines like Entry and exit levels Position size Stop loss level Take profit level. Indicators to use to confirm your entry and exit. Fourth, control your emotions. It's been said that fear and greed are the two strongest emotions that drive the markets. Fear of missing out on a trade usually drives Forex traders to jump into a trade without prior validation. And, at times, Getting into a trade hastily can result in losses if it turns against you. Greed is also something to watch and to control. It can fuel your desire to chase multiple trades, over trading, or to allocate too much of your capital in a single trade. In either scenario, you put your trading capital in jeopardy if greed takes over. If you want to become a successful trader, it is critical you put your emotions in check as much as possible. So, before you hit the button to confirm a trade, take a moment to think whether the trade is the right one by considering the following questions. Does it fit within your Fifth, develop a risk management strategy. Every successful trader will tell you that trading is all about risk management. And it's true, your success as a trader will depend largely on how robust your risk management is. At its basic level, risk management can be boiled down to a few components. Here are some items to consider when building your risk management strategy. How much capital to allocate per trade? How much capital to risk per trade? What is your stop loss level? What is your take profit level? How much leverage to use per trade? Six, start with a demo trading account. While most people want to rush into trading to have a taste of success right away, it's advisable to start small and slowly. This is particularly true if you're new to Forex trading where one of the best things you can do is start with a demo trading account. Using a demo account brings several benefits, such as opportunity to familiarize yourself with the trading platform and different trading products. Start testing different trading strategies without committing real money up front. Gain confidence in placing trades. Seventh, practice money management techniques. 
Beginners usually learn the hard way that money management is one of the most important factors that contribute to your success as trader. Having a successful strategy will not help if you fail to have sound money management rules in place. The goal is to maximize gains and minimize losses. Before entering a trade, you should already know how much you are willing to risk on it and how much the potential profit is. While it is impossible to eliminate emotions from trading completely, money management strategies can help you control them. 8. Cutting losses earlier rather than later. It can be tempting to keep your losing positions running in the hope that the market will turn around and you will be able to exit the trade at break-even or perhaps even at a profit. However, hope is a dangerous emotion in trading. Instead of letting your losing positions run out of control, you should have a sound risk management plan in place and already know how much you are willing to lose on that particular trade even before you hit the buy or sell button. Minute Scaling Positions There are benefits of scaling in and out of positions, primarily psychological ones. For example, if you have a large trade running that is already deep in profit, it might be beneficial for you to book some of the profit, making it easier to manage the position. You may also use scaling when entering positions. Finding the right entry point can be difficult and you might end up second-guessing yourself or wishing you entered the position at a better spot. With scaling, you take some of the pressure away as you will be entering the position at various points. Tenth, Maintain your trading journal A trading journal can be a trader's best friend if maintained properly. It is not just a summary of your trading strategy, but also a tool where you can write down your observations and notes, which will help you to build on your strengths and work on your weaknesses. Learn how to use a trading journal and remember that it needs to be continuously updated so you can track your trading performance effectively. Seventh, be disciplined, no overtrading or FOMO. The fear of missing out can lead to costly mistakes. A lot of traders only share their positive experiences with the online world and keep their failures to themselves. If you notice that many people appear to be making large profits on a particular trade, for example, being long Bitcoin, you may feel the urge to jump on the train regardless of the price and what your trading plan says. This is dangerous, as you are purely driven by emotions instead of rational decisions, and the opportunity could be gone already. Successful traders will never FOMO into a trade, as every trade requires research and setup to be effective. Twelfth, stick to your trading strategy. The markets are constantly evolving and your trading strategy will need adjustments from time to time. However, if you keep hopping from strategy to strategy and fail to stick to the rules that you have set, it will be difficult for you to evolve as a trader. It is therefore important that you stick to your trading strategy and avoid making impulsive decisions. Thirteen Balance Life Outside of Trading Just with any other career or hobby, it is crucial to maintain a healthy work-life balance. If you find yourself awake at 3 a.m. watching where the yen will move or stressing about a position you have open, you might need a break from trading for a while. This will give you the chance to clear your mindset, recharge, and come back better than before. Fourteen, be prepared, stay up to date with news, announcements, upcoming meetings, interest rate changes, economic calendar, etc. There are plenty of factors that influence markets. Even if you are using purely technical analysis, there are still benefits of keeping track of major market events as it will help you to assess the overall market sentiment. Our economic calendar will help you stay up to date on the most important news happening in the Forex market. 15. Adapt to the market. Market conditions change often and can do so rapidly. For example, your range trading strategy might work well during a prolonged phase of consolidation in the FX market. 
However, once volatility picks up suddenly and violently, you will have to react quickly and either switch to a different strategy or look at different markets where you may still be able to find the market conditions that enable you to be profitable.